Welcome back. It's a new day, a new video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I think we're going to talk about a topic that has it's been weighing on my mind for the last couple weeks now. Um, it really started weighing on my mind last week when Jamie and I took our dump trailer for work over to the dump to unload it. And what pulled in beside us? A Dodge Cummins Mega Cab, oh boy, it pulled in beside us and after that, Jamie and I were talking with the owner and after we left the dump, we were cruising down the road and it seemed like every truck that we saw just happened to be a Power Stroke or a Cummins and it got me to thinking and thinking some more and then thinking a little bit more. I am not 100% happy with my truck that I currently have and I will not be 100% happy with it because when it comes right down to it, this is not a truck that I 100% want. So when I stop to think about a truck that I want, what it comes down to is I want a three quarter ton at least so that I have a little bit more opportunity to do certain things with it and although the half ton that I have is quite nice it's in very good condition as far as the body and the frame go there's no rust on it uh, there's still factory paint on the frame and I can show you guys that uh, it's it's pretty clean and I think that I may have already put that in one of my videos but I will insert something again because the frame on this thing is just it's spotless and there's there's no rust there's those few little areas of surface rust that are starting to pop out but it's that's surface rust it can easily be managed with a wire brush and some sandpaper and then it can be painted over and locked in to be saved by the salt that New York uses during the winter months um, but after seeing that mega cab pulling the dump trailer up into the dump and pulling out of there and every truck we saw seemed to be a diesel uh, Jamie he looked over at me and he said this is God man God is speaking to you right now so I think the good Lord above wants you to have the truck that you want to have and you know I was looking at a Cummins before and I didn't get it for a couple of reasons and I will get into that in a second so why I didn't get the Cummins that I was looking at was uh, two, two main reasons. And the first one being that I was a little frightened over the cost of maintenance and repair bills. And <laughs> that theory, I guess, yes, a diesel can cost more to maintain and repair and whatnot. But when it boils right down to it, the longevity of a diesel over a gas is typically it's gonna be better you're gonna get more out of the truck you're gonna get a longer lifespan out of the truck and of course that is all depending on how you maintain it and take care of it but um, we all know that a diesel can outperform and outlast a gas truck let me get up this hill and we will continue so I'm not 100% sure why I was deterred from buying a diesel because of the fact that they could cost more to maintain or to repair or anything like that because if you come across the right thing um, that you know you got to do some couple basic maintenance type type projects to it then uh, you, you're really you're in, you're in a good boat you're not gonna have to dump a ton of cash into it right from the get-go um, but that's I guess the problem with the used market is you don't know what you're coming across and although it may appear good at the time that you're checking it out and test driving it and all that and you go and decide to make the purchase you get it home and drive it for a week and then something catastrophic happens and the tranny drops out or the transfer case doesn't work or something like that something along those lines uh, and you find out after the fact well then you're in that boat and you're you're scratching around for some change so you can get that thing repaired and fixed um, and that leads me into the next the next thing of why I didn't 
buy the one that I was looking at. Now, what I was looking at was a 99 Cummins. It was out of Tennessee. It only been up here in New York for a couple of years. Uh, and the majority of its life that it was up here, it hauled an excavator and moved some stuff around for the guy's buddy. I, I mean, I went and looked at this thing a couple times and had a few good conversations with the owner um, and so the majority of its life that it was up here it basically sat still hauled an excavator and it moved this guy's friend's stuff uh, when they needed to use a truck because they didn't have a truck so he basically lent it out to people and that was the most the most that it saw the road was when other people were driving it because this guy had other vehicles he didn't have a reason or a purpose to drive this truck so it basically sat in his driveway and garage and that's how it spent its life now i said it was out of tennessee the whole truck underneath the body everything was just it was the same condition as what i have now uh, there was no rust on it the frame was in great condition in fact the frame had been done with Linex or like Rhino Liner, Bed Liner. Um, so that thing was 100% absolutely protected from any road grime and road salt that we have in this god awful state during the winter months. So with that, I wasn't concerned about that at all. You could tell, you could see every head on every nut and bolt, uh, everything. So it, it was just, it was clean. It was a clean truck. Aside from the fact that there were a few small dents and dings in it because it was a work truck. So that was, that, that's typical. You're gonna come across a few dents and dings, but even at those dents and dings on the body, it wasn't all rusted out or anything like that so i mean you could tell the truck had been taken care of uh it had a new lift pump and new injection pump put on it so it, and it wasn't the the stock the factory style it was all aftermarket stuff um so you know the truck drove really great and it felt it felt awesome it had good power it shifted smoothly um but he was asking eight grand or best offer. Now the truck had 250,000 miles on it and it just, every other Dodge Cummins that in this area is for sale around that same year, the, those same amount of miles and whatnot, everybody is asking way more than that, surprisingly. And the bodies are completely falling off these trucks because of being in the state and the winter and all that crap. So seeing that price on that truck, now this guy just might have really been like, you know, this truck, this is what it's worth. It might not even be worth this. So I'm gonna put a fair price on it and try to sell it and give somebody a good truck. But to me, when I'm looking at the market, and I'm seeing trucks around the same year and mileage and all that, and they're going for for more, and people are wanting an arm and a leg, and I know they've got them priced super high, and they're asking way too much money for them. Me seeing him listed at eight grand or best offer just kind of kind of scared me and led me to believe that, okay, everything seems good and fine right now, but I'm gonna get in this thing, and a week or two down the road, something bad is gonna happen, and I'm gonna be turning around trying to chase down some cash so that I can repair it and keep this thing on the road. So those are the basically the main two reasons that I didn't go and get the Cummins that I was looking at. And at the time that was that was the deal on Craigslist. That thing was a steal. I I, I should have went with my with my gut originally and just tried to talk to that dude on the price and seen what I could get him down to. Uh, I do regret not getting that truck and settling for the one that I have now. I was looking at my half ton, this 01 Ram with the five inch lift and all that crap. I was looking at this the same time that I was looking at that Cummins and I sent the guy a text and I said, all right, listen, I'm not I'm not going with uh, option B. Let's, let's make a deal and I'll pick your truck up from you. And he delivered it right to my house and all that. And you know, I started, it started to grow on me and I started to like it and I really do love this truck and I love the cleanliness of it and everything about it. Um, but on the other hand, it's when it comes down to it, the heart wants what the heart wants and this thing is just not 100% what I want or what I'll be happy with. So I think that uh, we are, we need to look for a three quarter ton and preferably I think we're going to try to track us down a diesel in good shape. So I'm going to be looking around like Pennsylvania, Ohio down New Jersey, maybe possibly as far as like Virginia and stuff, 
and honestly if something even popped up in like Florida or Texas I have family in both those states so I would be willing to make that trip and drive the truck back to my house um, so I guess it's just gonna come down to what I can find at the time after I get rid of this thing um, and see what is out there and what's for sale I definitely want to buy something from a dealership of some sort so I can get some type of a warranty with it whether it be like a three month, six month warranty or 3,000, 6,000 mile warranty, something along those lines, I do wanna get something from a dealership so that I can get some type of warranty with the truck and I some type of drivetrain warranty and I know that I can kinda of just get on the truck and see what she's got and if anything snaps and lets loose, I can bring it back to the dealership. Obviously not if it's in Florida or Texas, I'm not gonna drive across the country to have the warranty uh, applied to the truck but if I get it out of Pennsylvania or Jersey or something I would certainly make that trip down there to get it fixed so that is the plan that is my goal that is where I'm at and what I'm thinking this truck is uh, it's been listed for sale now for the last five days I had somebody come and look at it two days ago and the guy liked it he um, there's just one little issue happening with it with the four-wheel drive when you put it in 4x4 there's a clicking noise going on so I need to investigate that a little bit try to figure out what that is and where it's coming from and see if it's anything that's major that needs to be repaired if it's something simple and basic I'll, I'll go ahead and repair it and take care of it for the dude um, if he wants to buy the truck and, and honestly probably just take care of it either way if it's anything major I'm probably not gonna go ahead and sink the money into the truck because I'm looking to get rid of it as much as I would like to give somebody a truck that is as flawless and mint as possible I'm not gonna go ahead and repair a bunch of major stuff on it and all that so if they want to buy it it's an as is where is type of thing and we can negotiate price um, around what is wrong with the truck and what needs to be done so hopefully we can get rid of this thing uh, in the near future sometime soon I did like I said I had that guy come and look at it a couple days ago I haven't had anyone else contact me yet about it um, but we will we will get rid of it and we will go and look at a few of the things that I've already found online if they're still available and I'm I'm looking every night online I'm tracking stuff down I am saving them and getting ready to contact people so that I can set up appointments to go and see these things um, as soon as this thing is gone and I honestly may start that process before this truck sells but right now I am about to be to my job site so that is gonna wrap this one up I just wanted to go and talk about my uh, my truck right now and the situation that I'm in with it I wanted to tell where I'm at, what I'm thinking, my thought process and all that good stuff and where, what I want to get, what I, what I truly want and you know having a three quarter ton just opens up more doors for me. I can, I can grab a plow and put it on to make extra money in the winter time and plow for myself and stuff like that, pick up some driveways and things of that nature. Um, just, I, I'll have more truck to haul a trailer or anything like that, haul stuff for people. It, it'll just give me uh, those couple more opportunities that will hopefully benefit me more in the long run so that's where I'm at that's that's what it's all about if you guys want to follow along and whatnot be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see what happens with this truck and before this thing goes I'm still gonna be doing like little repairs on it and and things like that and still making it what I what I had envisioned for it be sure that you guys are subscribed so you can follow along with that stuff and uh, just come along for the adventure and if you guys are wanting to see what happens with this thing and what comes next then go ahead and drop this video a like and uh, leave down in the comment section what you think I should shop for or what you think I should look at while I'm there looking at the trucks anything that I should check over uh, anything that I should check for to make sure that it's in good working order and things that aren't broken and whatnot um, go ahead and leave that stuff in the comment section so that I have a better idea and, and whatnot and I'll entertain anything that is said down there in the comment section. So I will uh, see you guys soon and I am off to work. See ya!